one mean um, Pitama village is more grateful like me and Ratu for all of uh, friend uh, program from the medical to the exercise program to the scholarship for the children since the medical team uh, has come to the village we have uh, talked more on health like we talk about eating fresh food having a backyard garden so that we eat from our backyard garden rather than buying the tuna and noodle which was the, a thing of the past now friend has actually lifting uh, people out from uh, poverty and empowering them for economic development but in a social setup like in the koro or in the settlements or in the villages the wellness is just fitting in to address the health side and the medical side of things and to partner with the friends on their medical arm as part of uh, friends program they also supplied us with some yam toppings we were also given uh, kumala toppings and uh, from last year's uh, crop, we decided that this year we should have a competition to see whose uh, Kumala uh, crop will be the biggest. Currently, not only in Fiji, but in the whole Pacific, uh, we've declared ourselves in the NCD crisis. There is an increase in people dying in Fiji at the age of 40. If we are dying at 40, we must be sick at 20. If we are sick at 20, we need to do something in childhood. Wellness is there in the community. It starts in the community. We need to go back to the community to keep and maintain the wellness and to reduce the sickness. The program has done very well for itself in the Western Division. Uh, we've got currently from Nandi to Singatoka about 40 communities. We would like to expand towards Singatoka and other inaccessible areas. A lot of mountainous terrains, we're waiting for, we're hoping to raise enough resources to be able to get good vehicles. Uh, so we, when our team goes into the mountains, we know that they're safe. When we went for this uh, checkup, we realized uh, the nurse told us that his uh, blood uh, pulse was very low, which read at 32 or 36 at that time. We went to hospital straight away. The doctors told us that uh, Ratu had some heart problems. He was diagnosed for complete heart block. I was really discouraged, but then I was glad because without friend, we wouldn't have known that Ratu had this heart problem. Our exercise um, officer tries to go out to the community every week, to visit each and every community. We have an exercise coordinator, so when friend officials are not there, we have our women's meet every week and we do our own exercise programs. Dance exercise involves dancing, so this is one of the dance exercises. And I thank friend for the program, fitness program. From there, I started my exercise. Every morning I do my aerobic. From there, and I do my yoga. And I do my 15 minutes walk. And I control from eating. Before I used to have my weight, 99 to 95. Right now, I come to 85 or 80. So that's a story I can tell you. But there are so many stories now from my village. And we have seen less of these ambulance calls. We have realized that before they get very sick, the team is there for another checkup and another set of new medicine. Friend Medical has been actively participating in uh, Vitongo village for the past three years. In uh, Vitongo, we have uh, Sairusi Matutu. He is a outpatient treated with uh, anti-diabetic medications. 
There is another a case of a stroke in the Tongo village as well. Exercise nga. Gai lebu sarap tunga nga una unta putu kina na na mitu go go kanya juwe. Bulu makau no buang na buwe. Gai bim bitu nga na yung gali kanan ro ni kauga ko kila sarang na kina maman tapi yung. Health becoming a component ensures that we are offering a holistic, sustainable medicine. For us to be able to do food security, exercise and health and be able to monitor them on a regular basis is quite unique, I think. It will be absolutely amazing if more and more partners join us in making this work. In the last three years, we've seen major impact where health is better managed, villages are saying there are less ambulances. It's the quality of life that we see in the communities. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. On behalf of uh, Ratu and the uh, Vanovitong, we cannot be thankful enough for all the encouragement and uh, and the, the changes that you have brought about. They have brought smiles to the faces of their families because they are not being a burden, but then they are helping themselves through this exercise. And uh, I think uh, <clears throat> everyone who is involved in this beautiful program, Vinaka.